So have a look at this picture. This is how your game looks with default settings. Wait, let's go a little closer and I'll show you what I mean. Now do you see this noise all over the picture? This is film grain and I'm not too fond of it because even in DSLR cameras it's not how it works. It's usually visible in dark places because of high ISO or low light situations. But in The Last of Us Part 1 it's like an old camera filter all over the picture. It's subjective if you like it or not but I recommend you to keep it as low as possible. Look how cleaner and better Ellie looks when I make the film grain zero. You can simply press options, go to settings, display and in effect section change the value. If you go to zero there will be no film grain. I recommend zero to three. Anything higher than that makes the picture low quality to my eyes. There's also motion blur where you get blurry effect when you run fast or rotate camera fast. If you play on fidelity mode I recommend to keep it on zero. If you play on performance 60 fps two to three can be good. I get headache when it's too much. There's a bonus tip if you are still watching. Go to accessibility settings motion six you'll find field of view here what this option does is showing wider area in the game so this is how it looks on minus 5 and when you go to 5 you can see more area in the game I like that to sum up field of view on 5 motion blur and film grain on 0 to 3 but if you want the best ps5 settings for the last of us part 1 Watch this video next where I showed the best settings like audio video controls to give you much better experience while playing I'll catch you there